Yeah, all right, first jump, we got this shit. No, we don't. No, we fucking don't. What's going on everybody, Dregas here, and welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Drive. Today we're playing some more scenarios, I got some more downloaded ones that we're gonna get to, but uh, we do have some new BeamNG ones that sound pretty fun. Actually, two intersection ones, and it's been a while since we've actually crashed cars together, so I think these ones are perfect. So the whole point of this one, it's supposed to be really easy, is to calibrate your speed to try and hit the other car. Now, I've never tried this, so I don't know if we should just go full throttle. First of all, though, we're gonna try full throttle, obviously. The harder we hit, the better. Okay, so we're in a pretty slow van here and I don't know why they're trying to make me bob and weave but I'm assuming the guy is going to be right around this corner somewhere where are you oh Jesus Christ well there we go that's all we had to do was hit each other that was great I don't know what this guy is trying to do but he's going backwards and forwards and he just lost his tire dude your car's too fucked up you can't leave man Okay, and here we are at intersection two. The same thing, calibrate your speed to try and hit the other car, this time with a twist. So I don't know what that twist could be. Everything looks the same here. Obviously, we got a bit of a faster car. Maybe that's the only twist, or maybe you have to slow down a little bit, kind of be more strategic. The other one was considered easy. I believe this one's considered medium. So let's see what's going on. Oh, I think we actually got a jump here, and I missed him. That was so fucking close. Okay, but I was actually going too slow, and I was full throttle that whole time, so it's all about doing these turns as quickly as possible. So I'm going to try and almost sideswipe these. There we go. That's as good as it's going to get. If I don't hit them here, I don't know what will. There we go. Yes. There's nothing better than a good car crash, and that was definitely one. Let's try and do it one more time. I'd like to hit them right in the side if I can. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again, just I'm going to hit the brakes a little bit before the jump. I don't know if I'm gonna get enough speed here, because I've been kind of going around like crazy. There we go! That's what I want to do! Direct hit on the side! Now, the only unfortunate part about these scenarios is I can't go in slow motion. I would have loved to have seen that in slow motion, but for whatever reason, they turn off slow motion on these scenarios, so that's why you haven't actually seen it as of late. Okay, but here is the main scenario I wanted to show you guys today. This is Container Crash, made by the same guy as Unorthodox Stunting. So, he tends to keep to a storyline when it comes to these, so breaking news, a container ship has crashed close to the old port, spilling large amounts of containers, and some of them have elongated because of physics. Though the ship has sunken, many of the containers are still there. Naturally, you take your heavily modified sunburst and have some fun. Tips and hints, the containers are placed in more of a natural way rather than a convenient way, so watch out for gaps and clear the car has tires that are susceptible to burst, especially on container edges that connect to other containers. So, uh, the last time we were having rad issues, I'm, we're probably gonna have rad issues again, and we always have rad issues, but this time we might have tire blowed issues as well. Okay, let's start this thing up, and look at this car, how fucking stripped does it need to be? Alright, first jump, we got this shit. No, we don't. No, we fucking don't. And that is what happens when you trust a jump to be an actual jump, so clear. <laughs> We gotta slow down a bit here and go a bit sideways. That is just evil. You don't put a jump on the first corner and then make it not an actual jump. Ow, fuck, I hit a bush. Okay, I'm seriously stuck in the bush, guys. I'm, I'm sure there's lots of sexual references here. Jesus Christ. Gotta be honest, I'm a little worried. I got stuck at checkpoint number one and checkpoint number two, and we got 20. <laughs> to get through. This is a long friggin' course. I'm hoping some of these are quite easy, though. Obviously, it's looking like we got a little bit of a rally situation on the ground here. Where the hell? I thought I had to go down here. How did I get lost? Okay, well, clearly I'm not the smartest person in the world. I somehow missed this checkpoint. <laughs> Anyways, now we're supposed to go this way, right? Yep. Okay, we avoided the evil bush, and now we're moving on to something that we have- Fuck! Okay, we avoided the one evil bush, guys. The one evil bush, yet I somehow hit the other one. I have to acknowledge that these bushes you can't just go through. I'm used to most games just allowing me to skim through a bush, but not in BMNG Drive, my friends. Oh my fucking god. Okay, well, that's good enough. It looks like my car's totally okay. Never mind, look at my fucking wheel. It's going right sideways. God damn it! What's truly sad is I think this course is supposed to be a little bit easier, and I can't... I can't even get to the hard parts of the course. Oh my god, this is kind of this is kind of like a really difficult angle without popping your damn tires. Okay, here we go. Avoid the bushes. We got that shit down pat. Well, at least I hope we do. And uh, I guess we can go around this way. I mean, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go, but this car is extremely hard to drive. All right, where are we? 
Oh, I was supposed to go the other way. Okay, well, we'll go around again. We're, we're, we're not going for time here, my friends. We're just going to complete it. Okay, it looks like we're finally going to get off the ground here, and I'm a little bit worried. You know what? I'm going full power. First try, and we'll see what happens here. Holy shit, this is actually kind of crazy. God damn it. What the hell just happened? I, something exploded. Oh, my tire popped. Okay, so these tires do like to pop. Uh, anyways, I should probably align my jumps a little bit more straight. Okay, here we are back to the dreaded jump. I don't want to go so slow that this is easy, but I want to go slow enough that I'm not going to freaking die right away. That was the perfect jump until that happened. Okay, well, the car's still working, so I don't really care. I don't know where the next checkpoint is, though. Where the fuck? Because this is so hard to find these things. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I'm supposed to turn around? Okay, that's just... Wait, did I totally miss... Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. I totally missed the other one I had to go around and do. So I did that jump for absolutely nothing. Okay, well, let's just do that again without, you know, hitting the actual container when we do land. So I'm gonna go a bit to the right, but not enough to actually fall off the second port container. There we go. That's what you want to do. And that was actually really good. Okay, what are you gonna throw at me now? I don't have the best car right now. Things are falling off of it like crazy. I'm always looking for where the fuck the next one is. Why would you do this? I guess this is kind of a game of hide-and-seek as well, or I'm just really stupid and don't know how this track works. All right, let's get some speed here, and... Oh, this is a jump. Oh, God. Okay, whoa! That was fucking awesome! Oh, shit, and... Okay, is this thing still working? Holy shit, it's the car that doesn't quit, ladies and gentlemen. But it's looking like... Oh, Jesus. But it's looking like... Oh, no, we actually do have to go over here. Okay, so things are just constantly falling off this thing, which is impressive considering it was stripped to begin with, and yet things are still falling off. My steering is not working, by the way, now. It's not just me driving badly. The... There's something wrong with the front wheel. Okay, well, that was a little bit better. 13 out of 28. We still got a lot to do, though. Okay, we got a deflated tire and a very bad car, but it's taking me forever to get back here. Let's hope I can land this good. Slow down, slow down. Oh, God. Okay. So this is as far as we've gone. I think we're going into the woods now. Well, obviously we are. I mean, you can see it in front of us, but oh, God, the bushes are back. Okay. I got to be very careful because, well, this car is on its pretty much its last legs, and it's not the easiest thing to steer when <laughs> you have a flat tire, especially in the front. Okay, there we go. Oh, my god, I'm going into a factory. Okay, this is fucking awesome. Oh god. Oh, oh I'm on fire! Oh god! Okay, well, we got only 11 checkpoints to do while we're on fire, so let's let's see how far we can get. Holy shit, I didn't realize you could just still keep driving while you're on fire. This is impressive. Okay, let's try and avoid the creepy-ass flames I'm falling into. Oh god damn it, another bush, really? The flames clearly didn't get me. This thing's still working. But no, the bush? You can't fuck with bushes in this game, guys. Okay, we're back into the forest, and this time we're a little smoky, but we have all of our tires at least. So I can kind of actually control this for once. Oh god, I'm so scared of bushes. Like, I, all I'm thinking about is avoid the bush. Avoid the bush. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's not catch on fire this time. That would be fucking grand. Thank you very much. And let's keep going here. What are we at? 18. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the course. I'm a little worried. I don't know what it's going to throw at me, but I'm feeling like this is more of a rally course than anything. This is kind of nice. I, I'm liking it. Because with unorthodox stunting, it was just constant jumps and tricks. This one, at least you can drive around a little bit. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I don't know how fast I'm supposed to go, so you know what? I'm assuming, judging by how much of a runway we got, we gotta go full throttle. Oh god, I didn't realize there'd be <laughs> a gap there. Okay, wow, this is so cool, and hey, my car's still doing it just fine. Oh, what is this? I don't even know what this road is, and oh, watch out for the bushes! Oh, you fucking bush! Oh god, we're on fire. Can I, can I get out? Can I get out? <laughs> Okay, let's keep going here. I don't even know how to get off this thing. Holy shit. This is awesome though All right, only four more checkpoints and we're on fire I don't know how long this car lasts while it's on fire, but I'm assuming not very long <laughs> Okay, it's clearly slowing down. It's actually a little lopsided. I don't know why 26 Are we gonna make it with a flaming car? That would be the best way to finish this. I hope we do 27 come on you can make it up the hill there it is <laughs> It's the checkpoint! Come on! Yes! We did it! With a fucking flaming car! Oh my god. That was awesome. And into the water, so obviously the car's totally fine too, guys. 
Okay, and I thought I would throw one more scenario for you guys uh, that we haven't tried yet. This is another Beeman G1, just because this video would be quite short if I didn't add a few more things. So let's try this out. This is Suspension Race. It's supposed to be a race course that pretty much fucks over your suspension. And judging by the ground right now, yeah, this is... <laughs> oh, God. This car is going to be so fucked by the end of this. Okay, well, good start. Where the hell am I supposed... What the fuck? Why Why am I never noticing, like, where these things are? So I just gotta go down each one of the ordinary sandbox maps. So, okay, let's see how this thing makes out after <laughs> all these runs. All right, these ones are a bit smaller. Not too bad. Oh, that was easy. Gotta throw something better than that at me, game. This one... Oh, Jesus Christ. Gotta stay in the middle here. Don't want to hit the side or you're gonna do a flip. And let's turn around here. What does this one have? Okay, five out of seven. So this is the six. Is this it? Am I gonna successfully do it first try? This is considered medium. That's totally bullshit because I just did it no problem at all. Okay, well, this is going to be the episode of many different scenarios because I didn't expect me to do so well today. Anyway, so we got another Beeman G1. This one is, you got a report about a bank robbery in your local town. Respond to the report and stop the fleeing suspect before he reaches his hideout. Make sure not to damage your brand new Hirochi Sunburst Police Edition. The car is just two days old. Really? This is government money. I don't give a fuck how old my car is. I'm a cop and I'm gonna hit shit. Okay, let's go find this asshole. He's somewhere in town here, I'm assuming. Uh, do I turn this way? Yes, I do. Okay, there's the next checkpoint. There's only three checkpoints, so I gotta assume... Oh, there he is. So all I have is a very short amount of time to get to this guy, and I am going to get to him and fucking hit him good. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, you know what, you bastard? No, no, you get the fuck... Oh, what? No, I didn't crash my car. Now I crashed my car, but I didn't before. And so he got away. This is why I'm not a policeman, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, seriously, though, this town has to have some seriously low funding if they're worried about a brand new police car when there's a fucking bank robber on the loose. Okay, so clearly I gotta, like, pit maneuver this guy or something. Uh, just don't do any damage to my beautiful new police car. Don't worry about the millions of dollars this guy just stole. Okay, so he turns here, I believe. Let me see if I can maybe just get in front of him and do the most boring police chase ever. Um... Okay, he's going the other way now. That, 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 that's a smart robber. Well, at least I'm diverting him and he's not getting to his hideout unless his hideout's over here. Oh, shit! Oh, God! Okay, well, okay, that didn't consider it as a crash, I guess. I flipped the fucking car. No, that's fine. But when I nudge the guy, it's like the end of the world, but I think I've lost him. Hopefully he went this way. Oh, fuck, this is, like, easy to lose, people. Okay, well, I crashed it again into the tree. Stop resisting! Okay, we're going this way this time. Radiator damage. I also damaged him, though, uh, with that turn. So maybe I can just keep slowly damaging him. Oh, that's not good. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Okay, to be fair, I did rip off my wheel. Okay, I understand. I did crash my car. Oh, we're going the other way this time. This guy's sneaky. He's also got a very fast car, like much faster than mine. But he's the worst turner ever. And I say that as I hit a tree while turning. <laughs> Oh god, did I lose him again? Okay, oh, that's what you did, you sneaky, sneaky motherfucker. No, I'm coming. Please, I gotta get to you. Okay, he turned again. Oh, he hit a tree. He hit a fucking tree. What are you doing? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna tap him and win. <laughs> I did absolutely nothing that whole fucking game. He crashed into a tree, and I just came to him. I guess that's how cops usually work, though. Generally, they're not crashing into cars and almost killing people. They're just chasing people until they do something stupid. So in terms of being a cop, I believe that was a complete success. And we're going to end this one here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam and G Drive. As always, just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.